You Representative Ward? Oh. Speaker, in support of the amendment. Please proceed. Thank you, Speaker. Uh, thank you for hearing us out after the false shutdown on yesterday, saying that the uh, second reading, you cannot have amendments. And now we have a chance to speak out. And I also start with a disclaimer as my colleagues. We are against the underlying bill. And all these amendments that we're proposing should not be done by the minority. They should have been done by the majority. Mr. Speaker, having said that, let me quote John Henry Felix, a member of the Hart Board. He very specifically said, and he spoke to the people of Honolulu very, very directly. As a Hart Board member, he said, we have been continually blindsided by the wildly escalating costs of building the rail infrastructure. And we still have no idea what it will cost to maintain and operate the system. This is inside with John Henry Felix. I totally agree with what he said. The city auditor said, in terms of why there should be the F word, forensic in there, the city auditor, Edwin Young, said that the red flags were there to suggest evidence of fraud. He stated that the internal controls were so weak that if fraud, waste, or abuse were to occur, Hart and others would not have directed it, could not prevent it, and could not have taken corrective action. In the hearing on Wednesday, the Finance Committee had Mr. Kondo, the pit bull that the Finance Director or Speaker or Chair says was there, who has, learned, who has earned a reputation as the ethics czar. But when it came to asking Mr. Kondo the now auditor and auditor czar, if you will, we said, will you be looking for fraud? And all of the, you who were there will say, well, he said, maybe. The point is, everybody's been talking about a forensic audit, except now when we come to this bill, the F word is out of there. Forensic is not in there. If we just find that there was a few delays and a few payments, so what? There's enough evidence from what the city auditor has said to make forensic an integral part of this. Otherwise, as the auditor said, well, maybe we'll look for these kinds of things. And everybody's been using the word forensic, and now, su surprisingly, we can't do it. Even, I think, Merrill Caldwell has used the word forensic on occasion. That everybody's for forensic audit. So to make sure, as John Henry uh, has tried to to put forward, we need transparency. We need the people of Hawaii to, to know specifically what it is that they're up to, what it is that they're doing, and what it is that needs to be done. Uh, Mr. Speaker, a forensic audit is the only way to do that. It's the only way to bring confidence back into the people of, of Hawaii regarding this. And it's because of this that I vote yes for this amendment. Thank you.